As promised yesterday, let's take a look at updated voter turnout across Oregon so far. Nearly one in four voters registered has submitted their ballots already. That's just under 25% for the statewide number. When it comes to leading counties based on percentage of ballots returned so far, the more rural areas remain at the top, mostly because there are fewer registered voters there to begin with. Wheeler and Wallowa are the only Oregon counties above 40% so far. Congratulations, you two. Grant and Curry County, not too far behind, way to go. And coming in last place again by the percentage of ballots returned so far, Clackamas County at just over 16%. But you can see that percentage represents more than 52,000 votes, far more than the rest of the counties on your screen combined. Elsewhere in the metro area, nearly one in four Washington County voters have submitted their ballots, representing nearly 100,000 votes. And here in Multnomah County, just over 18% of voters are done filling in the ovals, which equals nearly 106,000 ballots. And while we're on the topic of voter turnout in Multnomah County, we thought this graph from John Horvick at DHM Research was super interesting. This is a look at voter turnout here as of yesterday, eight days before the election, compared to previous presidential election years. So yesterday, Multnomah County was around 17%, but check it out, eight days before the election of 2020, half of the voters here had already turned in their ballots. In November of 2020, we were all stuck at home, so, you know, filling out the ballot was a unique way to change the COVID routine. If we zoom in, you can see how this year is shaping up to the averages. That's the yellowish line is between 2004 and 2020, while the teal line is 2004 to 2016, removing that especially high 2020 year. Here in 2024, the red lines, you can see how far below average we are thus far, and I don't know, is that cause for concern? What do you think? Time, of course, will tell. If you look to the far right of the graph, though, and the final turnout, it seems like we always end up right above that 80% turnout threshold. But as it stands now, there are more than 470,000 Multnomah County voters who have not yet returned their ballots. And gang, the clock is ticking. We're one week out from Election Day.